Hey guys, welcome to Adventure Gaming HQ, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to name any mob in Minecraft Pocket Edition on iOS with absolutely no jailbreak. It looks like they're wearing name tags, but they really aren't. And here we're co-hosted by Wooly Willy once again, and we also have some of his friends here, so let's uh, look through all of them. First of all, we have Kayla the cow, we have Eddie the enderman, we have Carissa the chicken, we have Peggy the zombie pigman, and we have Zorgi the zombie. Now that we've met Willy's friends, let's learn how to get the application we need for this, which is Plug PE. Plug PE is a very low priced app on the application store. To find it, look up Plug PE and it should be the very first one. It comes with so many mods and commands, it's unbelievable. Now I know it's money, but really, you bought Minecraft Pocket Edition, might as well buy this with it. Now in this video, I'll give you a very brief description on how to use it, but you'll have to watch my video, link is in the description, about all the commands on it. You should just go ahead and go watch that video before you watch this video so you have a better understanding of what I'm doing. Now we know a little bit more about Plug PE, right? Now let's learn how to get these named mobs. So first of all, what you need to do is get Plug PE running, and then you want to go into the chat in survival and get yourself a spawn egg. So you need a spawn egg in survival. This is how you do it. So you go into the uh, chat, you do dot G, then you give yourself a spawn egg, just like this, and then this, and then you want to put the mob you want. So we're doing wolf. You do wolf. You put it in, it would fall from the sky. I don't have it running right now, but it would fall from the sky, and you would get a uh, wolf spawn egg, just like this. After you get your egg, this is where the magic takes place. So you want to name it. What you got to do is you have to go into an anvil, and then just name it whatever you want. Let's name this one Timmy. Timmy, just like this. Okay, so we have Timmy here. Oh, there's little Timmy. Let's, uh... Let's breed little Timmy right now, or no, not breed him. Let's uh, let's uh, make him my pet. All right, let's try this again. So we have Timmy here. We're gonna spawn a Timmy, and we're gonna breed him. Ah, boom, boom. Oh yeah, there we go. Now we have a dog that's ours. So now we have a dog that's ours that has a name tag. So now. You can name your dogs whatever you'd like, and they will have a name tag now. And obviously, as you can see, it works with any other mob in Minecraft Pocket Edition. To lengthen this video, since it's so small, I want to do some other things. So first of all, I want to see what a guest looks like with a name tag. So let's go over here, and let's test this out. Ugh, that's really ugly. It's just like right in the middle of it. It's not like, I, I thought it would like be really big letters over its head, but no. No! Timmy, no! Don't worry, everyone. Timmy definitely didn't, uh, didn't, didn't die. Of, of course he didn't die. He's right here. The next thing I wanted to show you is how to encase a mob like you see now. So you can see all of these uh, mobs are inside of glass and don't move and they don't attack me either because I think they think I'm invisible or something. I don't know, but they don't attack me. They don't uh, become aggressive with me and they stay still, they don't move. To encase a mob, this is what you must do. So first of all, you must see how big it is. Like Kayla, she needed a bigger one. I tried to fit her in one of these that have only one, one block, uh, uh, just one block and she wouldn't fit. So you have to make a perimeter of soul sand on the ground. So we're gonna be doing zombie pigment. And by the way, it takes a couple tries, so you might want to get a couple of a uh, couple of different eggs. It takes a couple of tries. So now, what you want to do is you want to just put glass just like this, so it looks just like this. And take any other block and put it in front of it just like this. So this is what you should this is what it should look like. Next, what you want to do is you want to take your spawn egg and you want to go to the back of it like this. Don't don't try and do it like this. Try to go somewhere near the back and just tap it and then push them into it. First try! Woo! Alright everyone, let's say that you're not an expert like me at doing this because you know I'm pretty awesome and I'm the best person in the world so you know, I would obviously get this on the first try so let's try this again except this time I'm gonna try and fail. So you'd put them like that so so make sure that you are aiming for this. I'm not aiming right here, I'm not aiming there, I'm tapping 
on this block right here, right there. See, just like that. It may look like, see, they walk away pretty quickly, but that one, he stood still so I could just push him in for a long time. So, see, this one's just standing there. So you just push them in until they, uh, they're they right there in the middle and then they'll stop moving and they can't move because they're stuck, I guess. I'm not sure why they do this, but it's pretty cool. Another cool trick is that if you have a uh, named spawn egg inside your hotbar in uh, survival and you want to move it to creative, all you have to do is have it in your hotbar, which is this right there. You just quit to get title, play, switch it to creative, you know what I'm saying, and then go back in. And then now it's in creative, as you can see. You can fly around, and we still have Gary the Ghast. Last thing, everyone, you can actually use glowstone instead of uh, glass, or you can just use glass and glowstone like this. Now, the cool thing about this is that if you spawn a uh, a creeper in it like this, oh, that was a fail, like this, and then you push him in, it looks like it's just a, it's just a, it looks like it's just a moving head. Look at that! It looks like it's a uh, it's a moving a creeper head like that. Look, it's so cool. Look, it's just like a creeper head. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to rate, comment, and subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos. Looks like I own a server of creepers.